Welcome to study the Bible with me. Today we are continuing from where we stopped last time. So grab your Bible and let's dig right in. The book of Psalms 120. A song of degrees. In my distress I cried unto the Lord and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee? Or what shall be done unto thee? Thou false tongue? Sharp arrows of the mighty with cools of juniper. War is me, that I sojourn in message, that I dwell in the tents of Kedar. My soul hath long dwelt with him that hateth peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Chapter 121 A Song of Degrees I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shed upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, and even forevermore. Psalms 122 A Song of Degrees of David I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, and to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For they are as set thrones of judgments, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls, and prosperity within thy places, palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Psalms 123 A Song of Degrees Unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of the maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God, until that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease, and with the contempt of the proud. Psalms 124 a song of degrees of David. If it had not been the Lord who was on my side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they that had swallowed up they that had swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul, then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the, f of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalms 125, a song of degrees. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth, even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn aside and to their crocked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of the iniquity. But peace shall be upon Israel. Psalms 126 A Song of Degrees When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then our, was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things to them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, 
as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Psalms 127 A Song of Degrees for Solomon Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman worketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are, in, are an inheritance of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of the mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Psalms 128, a song of degrees. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine of the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace upon Israel. Psalms 129, a song of degrees. Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth. My, may Israel now say, Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The plows plowed upon my back. They made long their furors. The Lord is righteous. He hath cut asunder the cord of the wicked. Let them all be confounded and turned back that hate Zion. Let them be as the grass upon the housetops, which withereth afore it groweth up. Wherein the mowers feeleth not his hand, nor he that bindeth sheaves his bosom. Neither do they which go by say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Psalms 130, A Song of Degrees out of the depth have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Psalms 131, a song of degrees of David. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in greater matters, or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is wind of his mother. My soul is even as a wind child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and for ever. Psalms 132, a song of degrees. Lord, remember David and all his afflictions. How he swore unto the Lord and vowed unto the mighty God of Jacob. Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes, or slumber to mine eyelids, until I find out a place for the Lord, and habitation for the mighty God of, Israel, of Jacob. Lo, we heard of it at Ephrata, we found it in the fields of the wood, we will go into his tabernacles, we will worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints shout for joy. For thy servant, David's sake, turn not away the, f the face of thine anointed. 
The Lord hath sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep my, com my covenant and my testimony that I shall teach them, their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. For the Lord hath chosen Zion, he hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her, po her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall shout aloud for joy. There will I make the horn of David to bad. I have ordained a lump for mine anointed. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon himself shall his crown flourish. Psalms 133, a song of degrees of David. Behold, how good and how pleasing it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head, the trend down upon the, the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the scuts of his garments, as the dew of Hamon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Psalms 134, a song of decrees. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth, bless thee out of Zion. Psalms 135 Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his pecu peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleased that he did in heaven and in earth, in the seas and all deep places, he causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings for the rain. He bringeth the wind out of his treasuries. Who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast? Who sent tokens and wonders into the midst of thee? Or Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants? Who smote great nations and slew mighty kings? Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land for an inheritance, and in inherited unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouth, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouth. They that make them are like unto them. So, it is, so is everyone that trusteth, trusteth in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Psalms 136 All give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. All give thanks unto the, Lord, the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. All give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that stretches, stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. To sun, the sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smart Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever. And bought out Israel from among them, 
for his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea in two parts, for his mercy endureth forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever. And gave their land for an inheritance, for his mercy endureth forever. Even an heritage unto Israel, his mercy, his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endureth forever, and hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the God of, e of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. We're going to be stopping here today. Next time, we're going to be starting from the book of Psalms 137. I'll see you then.